Do you love using Google Calendar to stay organized, but wish you could add a custom photo background to your calendar to make it more visually appealing? I love having a beach background on my calendar, but you can pick any photo you choose. A custom background can add your own personal touch to Google Calendar and make it more fun to stay organized. In this video, I'll share exactly how you can use any photo you find online as a background in Google Calendar. It's super simple to customize your calendar background and you can change up the background photo anytime you please. This is Jackie from Plan a Healthy Life with another simple video tutorial. Let's get started. There are just three things you need to add a custom background photo to Google Calendar and best of all, they're all free. The first is of course, Google Calendar. Second, you'll need the custom calendar background Chrome extension. And third, you need the URL to whatever photo you'd like to use as your calendar background. Step one, in Chrome, open Google Calendar. Start by launching Google Chrome on your laptop or desktop. Open Google Calendar because we'll be watching it change from its sad, plain white background to your new custom photo background. It's important to know that the background image you choose will appear when viewing Google Calendar in Chrome on your laptop or desktop. It will not appear when using Google Calendar in Chrome on a tablet or in the Google Calendar app on your phone or iPad. If you use Microsoft Edge as your preferred browser, you can follow the exact same process because now you can add Chrome extensions to Edge. Step two, now let's install the custom calendar background Chrome extension. In a new tab, search for Chrome Web Store. The first result will be the Google Chrome Web Store. So go ahead and click on it. Now in the Chrome Store search bar, type custom calendar background and then click on custom calendar background, which will be the result that appears for you. Click on the blue add to Chrome button and then click on the white add extension button. Step three, choose a photo to use as your Google calendar background. Now for the fun part, selecting your Google calendar background photo. Your Google Calendar background can reflect the weather, the seasons, or the holidays. You can add a background image of cute puppies, your favorite vacation spot, or your favorite food. Find any photo on the web to use for your calendar background. In a new tab, search for things like Christmas backgrounds, beaches, or cookies. Make sure you select images at the top of your screen. Maybe you want to make your background a destination you're looking forward to visiting, like me going to Hell's Kitchen Las Vegas in May, or maybe healthy food to remind you to eat clean, or coffee, because planning is always easier when you're caffeinated. I found a ton of great photos using the search term soothing images. I don't know about you, but I like a little zen when I look at my Google Calendar. Another great place to look for photos online is pixabay.com. You can search and choose from thousands of high quality images. Use whatever search term strikes your fancy and browse to find the perfect photo for your Google Calendar background. It's best if the photo is not overly dark or else the dark background might be a little distracting with your calendar events on top of it. Step four, paste the URL of the photo you've chosen into the custom calendar background Chrome extension. You found the perfect photo. The beach is my happy place, so I'm gonna use an image of the ocean to demonstrate. Let's find the URL where that photo is hosted so I can add it to Google Calendar. Use this exact process for the photo you choose. Click on the photo and you'll see a larger version of that photo. Now right click on the photo and select open image in new tab. A new tab magically appears in your browser. Now go to that new tab that was just opened and you'll see the photo all by itself. Right click in the search bar to highlight the URL and then select copy. Now that you have the image URL copied, let's paste it into the custom calendar background extension. Go back to the tab where Google Calendar is open and click the refresh icon in the upper left corner of the address bar. 
you're gonna notice two things that are different about how your Google Calendar looked just a minute ago. First, you're gonna see a background photo on your screen. This is just the default background from that extension we installed. Second, you're gonna see a new image icon in the upper right portion of your screen. This is the icon you will use from now on to quickly and simply change your Google Calendar background. Go ahead and click on that icon. The custom calendar background options window will open. Under options, be sure that light overlay is selected and then select single image. In the image URL box that appears, go ahead and paste the URL to your chosen photo. I'm pasting the one to my beach photo. And then click save over on the right hand side. And now you can see my wonderful ocean photo with pretty sun rays, sand, and ocean waves. I feel more zen already. Go ahead and close the options window and refresh Google Calendar to see the ocean background appear. From now on, whenever you want to change your Google Calendar background image, all you have to do is follow the same process. First, search for a new photo on the web. Second, grab that image's URL. Third, in the Google Calendar, click the custom calendar background icon on the top right of your screen. And then fourth, paste the new image URL in the options box and refresh your screen. It's super easy to change your calendar background anytime you want. My favorite photo background for Google Calendar is always a beach photo because the ocean is my happy place. In the comments, I'd love if you'd share with me what type of photo you're gonna be using for your Google Calendar background. I'd love some new ideas and to get some inspiration from you. As I mentioned before, if you use Microsoft Edge to view Google Calendar, the process is exactly the same because now Edge allows you to install Chrome extensions. If you use both Microsoft Edge and Chrome, as I do, I know I'm weird, but sometimes I like Edge, you'll have to add the Chrome extension and background images separately to both Edge and Chrome. Congratulations, you did it! In just a few simple steps, and with the help of the custom calendar background extension, you can add any photo to customize Google Calendar. And you can change that photo whenever you want to suit the seasons, the holidays, or your mood. If you're interested in giving your Google Calendar a beach theme or a pumpkin spice theme with photo backgrounds and custom coordinating color palettes for your events, check out the videos I've linked to in the description box. If you found this short and sweet tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Thank you so much for watching and happy planning.